Good evening. Okay. Let's put our, our topic for today there. Hi. We're just going to wait for a couple more people. Hello, Hilda. Hilda. Let me stop at, at Hilda. Pat Ehi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome, 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 welcome. You're welcome, guys. All right. We'll just wait for a couple more people and then we will start. Meg at Meg Dinjo. <laughs> hi. Hello. Thanks for joining. Esmos Palace, hi. Hey, Alexandra, what's up? Just adorables. Hi, hi, hi. You're all welcome. Checking out my notes. You guys won't believe what almost happened to me. I was about to press live and then I read this is a wig. I was not wearing my wig. And then I pressed I was about to press it and I could see myself without my wig and I screamed. <laughs> oh my god, my enemies want to catch me. It's not it's not working. You part are going to catch me. Anyways, um I think I'm just going to start. Let me just start by quickly introducing myself. So, of course, I am not at FD Naturals. <laughs> I am at Optimum Foodie. My name is uh, my name is Odwayo, and I am a nutrition expert. So, anything related to nutrition, so nutrition um, for weight loss, for disease management, so like you're trying to manage mm. diabetes or hypertension, high cholesterol, and things like that. Trying to uh, manage it from a dietary aspect. So, anything nutrition, I am. Um, Nutrition is my friend. Nutrition is bae. Um, I fell in love with nutrition due to my own personal struggles with my belly. Once I tell people that I'm a nutritionist, I help people lose weight. The next question is, were you big before? No, I personally was never big, but um, my belly, my tummy was my issue. That was my own battle, so to speak. And I, that battle was on for almost two years without me getting any reasonable results. Ronnie's world, hi. We thought we get a visible result until I changed what I was eating. And since then, I became obsessed with food and the things that food can do, basically. Um, it just it changed my life. And I guess I am here now, based on all that. There's so many other things that happened and just orchestrated everything. And now I am here doing what I do. Okay? So, um, I said earlier, uh, my handle is at Optimum Foodie. It's here um, in the comment section, the pinned comment section. So ensure you follow me. Um, okay, so today we're going to be talking about why you are not losing fat or why you're not burning fat. Um, there are many people that are doing things that they are trying. You know, I'm sure many of us, you, you're making small, you're making these efforts. They're not even small. You're making big efforts, but then you're not, not seeing results. And I say this because this is somewhere I was. As I said earlier, I struggled with my belly for almost two years without any significant result. And it was a lot of effort that I put in. And I just was not sure. Squeakle high. I just was not sure what was going on. Okay? And there are some of us that even have an idea. Then I didn't really know how powerful the diet aspect was. I was doing it, but I was not really sure what I was doing. But I was doing something, sha. But it wasn't working. And then eventually, I just wasn't getting it right. Okay? I'm sure some of us also probably putting in some effort into the diet putting in you know you're working out you're doing all these things but it's just not cool work you know but before i go on now if you notice i i i was very specific and i said why you are not losing fat you notice i didn't say why you're not losing weight okay now they, they are similar but um, i want to before i go on i want to just um i want to i want to share the difference between you losing weight and you losing fat okay now there are some times when you might climb the scale for example maybe everything is even going on well low. you know you might climb the scale and last week you were 92 kg Abby, and now this week you're still 92 kg but then you notice that but well, my clothes are getting free and now what's happening you know but because the scale is saying you're still 92 you're feeling bad like oh you know something progress is not occurring but it's not true okay now what that just means is that you're burning fat but you're gaining muscle now how do you gain muscle if you're exercising so it's really if you're doing a lot of strength trainings so maybe you're doing a lot of squats you're doing your maybe um pull-ups you're doing sit-ups you're doing um 
push-ups your lifting weights whatever it is maybe you're a gym person or you just really really work out what's going to happen is that and your diet is on point as well we'll still go on and to discuss more of that but you know maybe your diet is good so you're burning fat you're exercising well but you're also gaining muscle which is not a bad thing at all now this muscle is lean muscle is leaner than fat such that even two people can weigh the exact same thing like two of you and uh, climb the scale you weigh the same thing you're the same height but one person can be a size 14 and the other person can be a size 10 or a size 12 how is that how is that possible you guys are the same weight you're the same height the person that is a size 14 mm, it just means that that person has way more fat than muscle then this other person that is actually way way smaller that is a size 10 but is still weighing the same thing has a lot more muscle than fat now muscle weighs a lot but muscle is lean that means it's small so so long as that's why i always tell people never use only your your scale as a way to measure your progress if not you might get frustrated always measure both the scale and then with a measuring tape so you measure your arms measure your waist measure your bust measure your your hips measure your thighs measure those things so so long as those things are dropping see you are fine you're good okay don't whatever the scale says i always tell people that number on the scale is it written on your head leave the scale and the number that you want the number is not your head see so long as your goal is to actually look smaller well fine you're also looking at the weight because in a way the weight is supposed to correlate with your size that means that the weight is going down your size is supposed to be going down abby that just makes sense but even if the number on the scale is not going down but you can see that your body is getting smaller your clothes are getting freer you enter the shop one day ah are you that normally i said 14 you try size 12 and size 12 is sizing you please why are you sad because the scale is not going down leave the scale matter alone i've worked with people that didn't drop anything and they dropped the dress size smaller and the scale did not move if you move maybe point it just what it moved was not significant to the amount of transformation that had occurred in their body do you get so i just said let me quickly explain that part so never use only the scale okay always combine it with something else which should be maybe one of the easiest things is for you to measure your body and of course also notice your clothes you know your clothes so once clothes is getting free your jeans your and uh, your belt maybe the hole you used to use before you just notice that that hole is now becoming that hole is now becoming you know it's too loose now that's progress so my dear sweet progress proper progress okay so now that we have clarified that part let us now move on so my dear if you're doing everything right or you think you're doing everything right you're still not the inches are not falling weight is not coming down nothing is happening they also call me yes i forgot they also call me calorie queen because i am i am addicted to counting calories i'm a very very i'm very very what's that word now i'm very addicted to details tiny tiny things so i count my calories i i measure everything me i'm just like that you don't necessarily need to be that exact me i'm just like that okay but if you're not losing weight trust me it's because you are still consuming more calories than you should and first thing i need to explain to us how your body burns fat and i'm going to use the very simple explanation that i always use which is um, with money so let's assume that the fact that you let's first even understand how you even gain the weight normally everybody as you are you need a certain amount of energy okay and that energy comes from food and it comes from all food types it comes from protein it comes from fat it comes from carbohydrates okay now every day you need a certain amount of energy for you to stay the way you are okay that energy is used by your body that's inside of your body for your organs for your heart to beat well for your lungs for your kidney for everything in your body to shower work then you also need that energy to do all the things that you do you walk up and down your house you do the work in your office you brush your teeth you bath everything you need a certain number and there's actually a calculation to get that but i can't go into details of that one now now if you eat more than that number what your body will do is it will continue to use what it needs right but at the end of that day, so for example, your body needs 2,000 calories, right? But at the end of the day, you ate 2,500. 
that two thousand five hundred is your body will use, 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 use. But maybe all you needed, as I said earlier, was that two thousand. After it has reached two thousand, now what will happen to that remaining five hundred? We should just store it and say, okay, well, in the future, maybe she will not eat. Maybe what she will give us will not be enough. The food will not be enough. We will be able to use that excess that you've been storing. So your body stores it. So for every day you keep eating more than that number, your body keeps storing that excess as fat. And that is how you gradually, gradually, gradually gain the weight. Right? So now that you now want to lose it, you need your body to what? Start burning off that excess. And how can you do that? You need to give it less than it needs. So it just makes sense. You're doing the opposite. You gained weight by giving it too much. Okay, now that you want to lose it, you need to give it less. So that if your body needs 2,000 and you give it 1,500, remember it needs 2,000. So now your body will now say, ah, these people low. Your body will now say, ah, we need 2,000, it's 1,500. Where will I get the remaining 500 from? It will now remember, oh, we've been storing for rainy days since all that fat we've been storing. Now we're going to put it to use. And what does it do? It starts burning those fat to supply that energy you're not giving it. Remember now, what you're giving now is not enough. Okay? So if you're not creating that deficit, that's that gap between what you need and what you're giving your body, you never lose weight. So if your body needs 2,000 and you keep eating 2,000, you're just going to stay the same. Okay, and now some people ask, okay, can you just do workouts alone? That was my own very big mistake. Remember when I started this video, I said my struggle was my belly, and I struggled with it for almost two years. One of the things that I got wrong was I thought exercise was everything. Okay, I knew that the diet was important, but I was doing the diet completely wrong. I was just doing some things that I just felt. In fact, I was taking yogurt. I was taking yogurt. I was just very funny. Anyways. But the exercise part, ha! Huh? I was doing Jillian Michaels. I would go on YouTube. I was serious. After work, the time I joined the gym, there's nothing I not do. But nothing, nothing was shifting. My stomach was still like that. Okay, and why is that? Because the amount of exercise you need to do to create that deficit is just too much. So I always tell people, you can never win without getting the diet aspects right <laughs> when it's world you know you can't win without getting diet aspect right it's just not possible you just have to hey Toya C okay so if you, you can't just say I will eat but I know while and I should always go to the gym so let's imagine that your body needs 2000 but for you need to lose for you to for you to lose weight let's say you need to do like one five okay now Let's now say, let's even be good. Let's say it's like two five. See, many of us are doing three thousand calories upwards, and I'll tell you how. You don't know, but let's just even say you now eat two five. You need two thousand stay the same, or for you to start losing. Hey Yeti, hi, what's up? Let's say you actually started, um, to, but to lose any significant amount of weight, you should at least start eating one thousand five hundred. But since you eat two five, that means you need. If you are doing only exercise, that means you need to burn. 1000 calories i hope i'm making sense you need one five for you to lose weight two thousand to stay the same but you need at least one for you to eat at most one five for you to actually start losing any reasonable amount of weight right but you ate two thousand five hundred that means that now you want to go to that gym and go and burn one thousand calories it is hard it's not easy at all direct cakes hello hello it is not easy for you to go there and burn 1000 and this, this is even me being nice imagine if you ate 3000 calories if you ate 3000 calories that means now you have to go and burn 1500 for you to get to that one five level for you to lose weight to burn even to burn 500 calories it's not easy who's this everything about me is scam Please, you can probably take this into my DM. I don't understand what you're saying. Anyways, um, I think I'm just going to ignore any of such comments. If, as I was saying, it's very, very difficult, okay, for you to burn those calories, which is why it's just easier and it just makes sense that while you're doing the workouts, quite all right, you need to supplement it with a diet that is, um, that is a little lower in calories than what you need okay so that said i know many of us are probably even trying to do 
are portions that means you're actually trying to put in your your cutting down on your rice you maybe stopped even some maybe some of us are even coke addicts you know you love your coke your mouth and stuff maybe you've even stopped taking some of those things you have really reduced your fried foods you're really making all these efforts that make sense but then you're still not seeing results and, and i get those messages a lot Jenny's catering hi and i get those messages a lot so i just listed some of the things that are usually the most popular reason why gg coconut hi which is why one of the most popular reasons that i found that people use is usually the issue so you know when people tell me things like that we now actually start talking and i'm going through all the things so i have a list of the most common reasons why most likely one of the things that happens is that you're eating something but you're not really realizing how many calories that thing has now remember when it comes to weight loss it doesn't have to do with the quantity of foods that you're eating okay remember i've been shouting calories since calories is not equal to quantity see your food does not have to be very plenty for you to eat too many calories some foods are generally some foods are generally what's the word high in calories most likely because they have either have a lot of fat or they have a lot of sugar so they're generally so even if you just like your popular ice cream your pizza you just take small and you just real, you not realize how many calories you're taking in that small thing that you just sat down and took you know so while in your head you're like ah, it's not plenty now it's just it's not that much that i took now you know but your body is not seeing it like that your body is not counting quantity your body is counting the calories so regardless of the quantity you know i will see people say i, I eat only twice a day it's not about how many times you're eating or the quantity of what you're eating how many calories those two times you ate together how many calories was it at the end of the day that's the question you should be asking yourself okay so one of the most popular things that we're getting wrong i think in nigeria in general because of the way we cook is oil now i know many of us um what's the word now i know many of us usually we kind of already know this i'm sure you probably heard reduce oil you probably hear people saying things like oilless f for euro oilless this oilless that right but it's not um i don't think we really truly understand how deep the oil thing goes and i'm going to just try and give us a very very simple analogy so imagine that a tablespoon of oil is small right that's your normal eating spoon a tablespoon right it is a small it's a small it seems like a small amount but it is actually small but a whole tablespoon of oil is 135 calories now remember that this oil is not as if when you take the oil you're going to be full or the oil makes your food more it doesn't it's just there and it's just oil okay but you are not conscious of if maybe you've even tried with that one tablespoon you feel like you've made good effort and it's a small amount that you've used but now let me now give a simple example for okay let's say your diet you're targeting 1500 calories and per meal you decide to do 500 calories each right let's decide to do 500 calories each now now let's give a typical example of a 500 calorie meal okay one cup of cooked rice and trust me one cup of cooked rice is not a lot so even while you 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 are trying to cut down on those carbs some of us are still not cutting down enough that's another topic one cup of cooked rice is like 200 calories right so you've you you've handled the the rice aspect okay you now do you now decide to add a piece of fish a piece of chicken if you go and fry that thing what well, you talk about oil if you decide to go and fry the chicken or fry the fish now if you didn't fry it maybe you do between if it's just, no if it's about maybe like a middle piece of fish you between maybe 110 calories you know or if you want piece of chicken around 130 calories but once you fry it you'll be taking it closer to 200. so let's go and let's now assume that you decided that it's fried fish you wanted to eat you now did 200 abi you now added the fried fish that's another 200 calories right now that's what that's already 400 okay now you decide to eat it with i don't know maybe a four 
all right and now many of us feel like vegetables have calories too by the way it's not as much but they do have calories all right so most people cook for less they just use common ugu ugu is actually quite low in calories a cup of it is like just seven calories now compare that to rice a cup that is 205 one cup of ugu is seven now anyways so you decide to do your maybe the ugu everything shakings maybe 15 calories the amount of effort that you had um but there's tomatoes there's onions you know you probably even put iru, you put many you put all these other things they are counting those by the time you're done the veggies and uh, your iru and everything is already like 50 calories abby now we have those 50 calories left if you had used maybe five meals of oil you'll be safe which is 45 calories five meals of oil is a teaspoon very small but most of us use a lot more so if you had decided to use a tablespoon that's 135 you already 600 and something calories okay and depending someone like me now if i'm trying to work on my own belly fat when i was trying to work up one five calories is even too much for me i needed to go as low as 1200 which means that at any time my meal could not be more than 400 calories well that's if i wanted to eat three times a day okay so when we keep saying reduce or reduce, so I measure my oil till now. Till I, with all my eggs, I still measure it. If I'm frying my egg, I use a teaspoon. That is already 45 calories on its own. Okay. And one of the secrets to using little amount of oil, for example, if you're frying like egg, invest in a non-stick pan. One of the reasons why you want to add more oil when you're frying egg is because it sticks. That happens. And usually, when once it's sticking, the normal reaction is. You know pour more oil inside so you to stop sticking but uh, with a non-stick pan you can use very little oil and because it's non-stick you don't have that issue once you you use your your plastic um, whatever your spoon whatever they call that thing it will lift off right and you'll be able to fry with little amounts of oil for things like your f4 your okra and things like that to make it still taste nice even though you know you're using this very tiny amount of oil is to use stock so when i cook my chicken i cook my beef i always keep the stock and now the stock you need to be careful to remove the oil from the stock there's no point of you using little oil putting little oil in the pot but then the stock you now add now has oil swimming all over it then you're back to spoil one obviously so ensure you the stock itself now doesn't have luckily it floats so it's a little easy to just try to you know decant it away and then so you can pour stock in it just to add you know that rich flavor try it many of my clients when i send the recipes and they're like oh it's not possible have less amount of oil to cook this thing and i'm telling you feedback is always i could not believe i could do it and the food still tastes good okay so it is possible just be have a positive mind about it and then try it you know it's see i cannot argue that there is nothing like proper atadidi for you to have proper fried stew for example you need to really fry it and to really fry it you need plenty of oil i will not argue with some things i will not argue with the taste of fried chicken because it's amazing but i'm also thinking of my waistline okay now it's not as if i never eat fried chicken again no i see this is the thing that i usually say about what they even call the thing like when you finally get to your i always tell people hold on see by the time you get to your goal you can relax but you see that period when you're really really trying to get there eh? don't relax too much when i say relax though i'm not saying you should go all out though but you know i still have which day was it today is tuesday i think on sunday i still had pizza and i happily i, I happily ordered it and ate in my house but because i mean i've been good for most of the week and the truth is even though i needed then i needed to be on 1200 to lose the fat but now to maintain i need one six so normally to maintain you will be eating more than you were eating when you were what's the word when you were trying to lose you get so most likely you'll be good you'll be fine if you will be just adding some of these small small things you know once in a while i decide to do you know pizza you know i decide to do fried chicken instead or i decided to do most likely you'll be able to uh, head the word is get away yes you'll be able to get away with it you know but when that process the fire is still very hot and you're really really trying to burn your fat discipline yourself um usually i still tell people you know you, you still have your cheat days 
okay but um don't 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 relax too much if you can't do it without the cheat days by all means it just means that you're going to get to your goal faster that's just the truth and i have some people also ask yes i let me mention about exercise about dieting plus exercise now if you decide to exercise alone you most likely not get a lot of results it will be very you get discouraging results that's how i like to categorize it right if you diet alone you will see good results that means even if you decide not to work out you will still see very very good results this thing is 80 percent about your diet i learned the very hard way but if you now add exercise that weight will now come down faster because with the exercise you're now burning more calories you know you're increasing that gap that deficit between what your body needs and what it is getting the wider that gap okay the faster you would lose weight so that's just it so when people ask if you're whichever you can't negotiate the diet part but of course you should still exercise because exercising too is not just about the weight loss aspect of it there's so many other benefits of exercising but so for example maybe i was supposed to lose 1.5 kg this week you know but i was good with my workout so maybe it's a 1.5 i'll be able to lose like 2 kg get that kind of thing so it, it just boosts it for me and of course you you might just see uh, okay just one just point five but look at it in one month's time that point five point five is another two kg at the end of the month extra because i print it might even be more depending on how hard you're working out so it's definitely a very but ensure that your workout is in combination with you know your you've gotten your diet part um correct so to speak so now that i've discussed oil Another thing is some snacks that we feel are, they are healthy. But remember what I said, when it comes to you losing weight, it's not about how healthy what you're eating is. Your body doesn't, it's not, fine, your body wants healthy things. It wants all the nutrients and stuff. But when it comes to the weight loss aspect of it, it is your calories. So even no matter how healthy what you're eating is, if that thing is giving you too many calories, you will not lose weight. Okay? So things like granite. Where are my granite lovers? Me. I went to these people. I call them my adopted parents. So I went to their office today and they put granite in front of me. I, I was begging them to hide it because I know how many calories it is. I was taking, if I was taking three, I opened it again, four. I was taking small, small because I know. But at a point, I just had to hide it. Now, 20 pieces of granite is 100 calories. 20 pieces and i'm telling you that 20 pieces is small especially if you're mindless about eating it you know how you eat granite now the bottle is just there you know and you just keep opening it you close it you before you know you walk up and down small you've come back to it again you've opened it see you will not know when you do 500 calories legit see kuli kuli eh? i i absolutely i don't know how many calories is in kuli kuli because i you don't even know what's inside that's i think that's the first thing <laughs> i don't know how it is prepared for me to know how many calories it needs to have an idea i even need to know i don't know do they fry it do they i have absolutely no idea how kuli kuli is manufactured so to speak so i can't answer that question okay so by grown up people be careful and yes another thing people believe many of us believe that if it's boiled is healthier it has less calories they lie the boiled granite plus the roasted granite is the same amount of calories so i'll tell you one day i i was in traffic you know how doing boiled granite season now how they used to sell the granites that 100 100 or 50 50 and many times with that but no you're doing boiled granite season most of the times that i buy granite it is usually in traffic anyways i shall bought so but i didn't even start eating it so when i now i was thinking i was going to go and see a movie that day and i now packed and before i got down from the car i said let me count how many granules is actually in this thing because this is 100 now you just buy it you sit down you eat it you finish it i took my dad that day you know how it is now when you buy it maybe some will come like there'll be three in it then there'll be some it will be two in it like that like that i took my time i counted it like that if it's three in it that's one two three with two inside one two to just have an idea of how many calories will be in that hundred naira one? By the time I was done counting the number of granites, it was close to five hundred. Me say if I open mouth, I can't count how many that I bought that thing. Is that traffic? My traffic food. 
so there are just some foods that they are healthy granite are healthy because it's rich in it's rich in unsaturated fats it's rich in you know your omega 3s it has healthy fats fine the fats are healthy but guess what it is still fat okay and fat is still very high in calories so even when you're eating it you have it has to be very very measured so that's why i tell people don't granite should not be your like it's not a snack for me it's something that i will add to some things maybe i want to have like a small yogurt for snacks and i'll throw like then inside the yogurt just to mix it that's how you eat it <laughs> like a bottle ah did this get you on your own oh no that is serious <laughs> Please, um, I'm seeing some questions, but please, I would, once I'm done, I'll just scroll back up and start taking them one by one. So, that is it, too, for granite. Hmm. So, packing is small, 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 small. In fact, I just, some of us are better off just staying away from it altogether because you just don't know. Sometimes you just don't know how to take small. I don't know if you get what I mean. Like, it's, it's all for you. It's all or nothing. If I'm going to eat this granite, I'm going to eat it very well. If you don't want to eat it, it's just take it away from me because i cannot help myself so if you are the type that cannot help yourself maybe you should are just better off you know i don't know keeping it away and not buying it i just hope that don't buy it because they know themselves that if it's in that house ah that's the end okay my next one is coconut okay i mean but coconut i think i'm just easy mix even granite you need to remember that these things we get oil from them right there's granite oil there's coconut oil so imagine yourself eating fat that's how it is because literally that's what they contain that is the the crux of their content fat so it's like you're sitting down and eating fat literally you know it's like sit down somewhere and drinking oil that's why they are so high in calories so even coconut as well you need to do but it's right for calories for coconut it's always difficult to start trying to describe the size of the coconut but let's imagine like a two how many inches what's this is this like what's one inch like oh that's i don't know something like maybe like two inches or something maybe like a two by two it's like 45 calories it's just really small i know i had i lost my phone i had it i used to have a picture that I, I i literally took i weighed it that day and then i took a picture you know and i sent it to my my client cecil this is what 45 calories look like, looks like it's really small trust me you know so it's very very easy for you so you know, in your mind you're doing a snack you're not doing a whole meal but the issues with these snacks are in the name of snacks you have eaten an entire meal calorie wise and that is how your body is seeing it. So even though the quantity is not a lot, you have eaten the number of calories you'd have eaten in an actual meal. But this is snack. So after you've eaten this, your granite or the coconut and things, you're still going back to go and eat your normal meal that you were supposed to have eaten in the first place. You know, so you can see how easy it is for the calories to just add up. You know, and but you're not. It's, it's not like you're eating. It's not like you're a gluten. You know, it's not like you are. You know, loju koko, and you're just eating, eating, eating. You know, but the weight is just not coming down, and this is just some of the reasons why. Okay, um, I think my uh, my last one will be okay. No, okay, not the last one yet. I'm going to talk about yogurt as well. I had a friend that told me she was trying to lose weight, and then she said they told her that yogurt was good, and she, and she started drinking Hollandia yogurt. By the way, I'm actually going to go to the supermarket tomorrow to do so. Usually, sometimes I just go to the supermarket and I take pictures of product, and I do like the calorie count on my page, like popular products I know many people, most people probably take or like. So I'm going to be doing for Hollandia yogurt tomorrow. Yes, granola actually also gives me coffee if I keep eating it and eating. At some point, I start coughing too. Um, so yes, for yogurt, if you're doing a low-fat yogurt, you might still be safe. But even for low-fat yogurt too, you're still measuring the size. Now, a small cup, that's like a... Hey, I know if I'm measuring cups. <laughs> it, like a two over three cup is like 100 calories. I don't know. If you go to shops like ShopRite, in your yogurt section, you might see some... There is small, small pre-packed cups. It's a small cup. That small cup and that's low fat. It's hundred calories. 
Now, the full fat versions of those same small cups are 160. Mm. Now, things like Hollandia yogurt, it is full fat. Okay. Take out walnut. The calories are very similar. For, for like walnut now, it's like um, four, okay, two whole ones are 45 calories. So that means like four walnuts will be close to 100 calories. Tiger nuts, you know, tiger nuts, I'm actually not that sure for about the number of nuts. So I have to get back to you on that one because it's not something that I use or I eat frequently. Never really studied the number in my head. Anyway, um, suppose I go. yes, I'll talk about yogurt, right? So, so for something like Hollandia yogurt, definitely it is full fat, first of all. The fact that it's full fat, it has a lot of sugar. Okay, it has a lot of sugar. So you'll be amazed by how many um how many calories you're consuming doing yogurt. But normally the general sense or the general knowledge that we have is that yogurt is healthy, right? But if you're not doing the proper yogurt, if you're not picking the right yogurt in the right quantity, my dear, you're in you're you're in for it, you just blow up and you don't understand what's going on. One thing that I noticed Okay. One thing that I um what was I going on? Oh my god, I've lost my train of thought. No. <laughs> Somebody WhatsApped me. <laughs> what was I saying? I now talk about you got. And then I talked about I talk about oh my days. I talk about little fat yoga and then I hope I remember. Right now I've lost that train of thought. Um someone said Greek yogurt. Um, okay, so now Greek yogurt is between now I mentioned now I remember I mentioned low fat yogurt. So low fat yogurt is like Greek yogurt is like between low fat yogurt and full fat yogurt. So while that small cup is um hundred like hundred for low fat, for Greek yogurt of that same amount, it's like one twenty. Then the full fat is now one sixty. Mm. So Greek yogurt is like in between. Actually Greek yogurt is actually a kind of low fat yogurt because compared to like the the normal the full fat one which is 160 greek yogurt is 120 so then greek yogurt itself now also has a low fat version but i that's not usually really it's not really in nigeria i barely 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 see it um okay another one is simple general your things you buy in traffic so your things like your plantain chips that you buy in traffic, your potato chips, your gala. I'm just going to go through some of them. So like plantain chips, for example, can be taking you between 350 to 400 calories for plantain chips for one pack. All right. So somebody like me now, that I'm saying, okay, I'm trying, maybe then I'll try to get for, at least maximum 400 calories per meal. Once I eat, that means I want to eat that plantain chips. I'm calling it, that's the end for that meal. I'm not supposed to go home and go and eat another lunch or another, depending on what time it is. You know, but it's plantain chips. I ate it during traffic. I've forgotten that I even ate it, Seth. But I ate 350 to 400 calories in that traffic. Okay? Or your gala. The small gala, that's the one that they sell 50 naira, is 230. That small one. The 50 naira one, not the bigger one, is 230. You know, so while you're not, it's not, it's not seeming like a lot of, a lot, it's a lot in the other sense. So, and here, another one is popcorn. Like that's so yummy popcorn. That very popular so yummy popcorn. That entire pack is 240 for so yummy popcorn. Now, popcorn on its own is actually a very, very healthy snack. But because they've added sugar, a lot of sugar to it, that's what's making the calories jump. But the these things in themselves the the popcorn in itself if you put little amount of sugar like maybe if you make it yourself it's actually a very good snack option okay such that you have two cups i'm not my measuring cups there they're in the kitchen um two cups uh, maybe i should just go and get it two cups without sh- any sugar at all is about 80 calories and that two cups is a good amount okay it's about 80 calories without the sugar so what's making it jump um is usually the sugar that they've added but popcorn is really an amazing option because it's filling it's popcorn and it has a lot of fiber as well and all those and all the good stuff 
all right so the the what now makes it go the other side as i said is the sugar or whatever or that or honey or whatever or that thing i don't know that they decide to caramel they decide to put inside but caramel is still caramel is sugar anyway it's just like caramel is like burnt sugar okay so um so that's it so i think this for me those are in my conversations with people those are one of those are, i think is the most popular reasons why i see people struggling with um losing the weight please if you came late please 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 i'm sure you watched the replay i know i said quite a bit um even in the introduction ah there's so many comments i'm trying to i'm i want to okay i think people are just joining here hello 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 plus saying hello hello please what if okay so it says please what if i want to lose weight on a particular area like tummy not bum bum this is a myth it's not possible so remember the principle I tried to explain of how your body loses fat. You can't choose. When it's time for your body, because you're giving it less amount of energy, and fine, you've told it is now saying, okay, this woman is not giving us enough calories again. No, we need to start burning fat to make up for it. Your body decides. You can try to take some from your arm, take some from your leg, take some from your bum bum. You can try to take some from anywhere. You don't, we have absolutely, see, anybody that tells you. See, I have programs, like now I have a program called Belly Blast. I have a program called Be- Belly Trimmer. Belly Blast is strictly for students. Um, so it's very, very affordable. Then I have Belly Trimmer for every other person, so to speak. But I will still, I, I let you know. So in the in the description, I write Belly Blast. I write, lose 47 kg and 3 to 6 inches of your waist in 30 days. Okay because you will so i need you to be ready that will kill you know i'm going to lose some weight and probably the inches because even when i tell them to report i'm telling them they are measuring everywhere it's a belly blast challenge right but i'm telling them to measure their hand measure your boss because i know that it's most likely also going down so it's but it told me to is going down but everything is going down and in fact your body can be so annoying literally that you might be losing it quite maybe your other places are really moving you're really seeing inches drop but then your tummy just decides not to drop as fast and it said it's taking its time there's not much you can do all you can do at that point is to remain persistent and i always tell people to continue it will have no choice you know i had somebody who had that issue and it was quite and she was getting really frustrated but you know after a while she just sent me a dm you know she was all excited and stuff that it has started coming down then when she had finally just giving up that that's how it's just going to be and maybe she just she just continue wearing her her ch- spandex and things it actually it started coming down okay so that's something that you cannot control okay so just be 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 ready for that um uh, all right let me try and find the next question go 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 I know it's still a question about melon seeds, which is a goosey, yeah. Um, it's difficult for me to put that in proper perspective right now. Except you um, I have an idea for the actual seeds, which is in weight, but it won't make much sense to you right now. And I'm actually not an egg person. So usually what I do is I usually do experiments in my house because I have a weighing scale. As I said earlier, I'm a very... I like being exact in my things. So usually for my clients, what I do is I buy things, I wait, I have an idea of the weight, then I can now try to describe it for you or tell you the cup equivalent. And frankly, I have not done that for Egusi. And one of the reasons why I'm not even very enthusiastic to do it is because Egusi is very fatty. So for me, it's not even a go-to thing. I'm not really a fan in the first place. Then for my clients, it's like, okay, just eat it on your cheat day. Okay, but on like the regular plan, you will not find a goosey there because a goosey is very very fatty so it is very high in calories that one i know and you know how we cook a goosey now you still cook it with oil so it's like a cooking fat with fat in some you know in a way so the calories are always out of this world let me just put it that way um i hope i don't miss any questions but i think i answered walnut i'm biting granite and banana 
say the same the calories will now add now so you now take calories in granite plus calories in banana now i know many of us would have heard something like bananas are uh, what's that word bananas are fattening or bananas bananas don't just it has fat but it is calorie dense and what does that mean that means that it has a lot of calories in a really small amount compared to many other fruits okay so like a medium sized you know bananas vary in size first of all but if it's a really small size like i know they usually say there's ibo banana there's yoba banana so it's like yoba banana this one more like one with small you can maybe about 60 calories but like boy the regular banana size most times will be at least 100 and then for the big those ibo bananas many times they're more than 100 calories okay but if you were to compare that amount of the banana the quantity of banana to like watermelon you'll be getting a much smaller amount of calories watermelon is very generally very low it's not very not like vegetables but you know like compared to banana now it's much it's more definitely much lower so that's the thing about banana so granite and banana is actually in a way it's not a very nice combination because of course as we said earlier granite is very high so you're not adding it with banana you know it's not impossible to combine it but then that means you have to do maybe one banana then you count your granite with it if you're eating it for like maybe like a snack for example and it might not be very filling so you might be better off just doing something like watermelon where you can have more you know for the same amount of calories so let's say my snacks i'm targeting 150 calories so i'm targeting 100 calories if i was targeting 100 calories for my snacks i'll be able to do two cups of watermelon that's that 15 air watermelon size like i'll be able to do like two of that 15 air watermelon size but if i was eating banana i'll be able to do just one banana now compare how filled you'll be on the watermelon versus the banana so you get the picture Yogurt, happy yogurt. Okay, so I've noticed I'm five months postpartum. I've noticed that weight loss, weight lose. Okay, lost weight from my clothes, jeans, especially. But my tummy is cocoa. I think I've tried to explain this earlier. You just need to keep working on it. And then, since you are you've had a baby, you also want to ensure that you don't have diastasis recti because that's a situation where even if you might be burning some fat the muscles that hold your tummy have been um compromised let me use that word it has stretched the ones in front such that no matter what you do actually you won't you, you won't really be seeing results except there's certain exercises there's certain exercises you need to start doing to be able to get those muscles back information so to speak so first you need to find out if you have you can just go online you know how and google google is your friend these days how can i you can do a self-examination in your house and you know how do i test or how do i find out if i have the assessment i usually there'll probably be a youtube video that you can watch you can do it on yourself so if you don't have it awesome then just um it will finally go down okay just keep working keep doing your portion controls of course i mentioned a lot of other tips here continue doing those sometimes belly fat just sometimes it might be the most stubborn fat for some people they say it's their arms for some people you know their belly fat is just dropping like no man's business you know and for other people it's a little harder for it to drop even though you guys are doing the exact same thing you're following the exact same meal plan you're just our bodies are just so 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 different so different Okay, so for group, I'm going to give you like 120 calories. A two, two over three cup. Now, if you're trying to do this whole thing, this whole healthy weight loss thing, one thing you cannot do without are food measuring cups. Okay, just Google food measuring. There's a set of different cups. People that I sell, um, it's a thousand naira. But if you, if anybody, if you go to the market, anybody that sells baking materials, that's just as the people that sell things that they used to bake, they sell it because bakers use it. So they, they always have. It's maximum 1,000 there. It's a set of cups. So that set of cups will have a 2 over 3 cup. Even if it doesn't have a 2 over 3 cup, to have a 1 over 3 cup. So that will be 2 of that to make 2 over 3 cup. You just do small maths and get the quantity you want. Okay, so I think that is it. Does anybody have any more questions for me? Uh, I need to drink water. Yummy. Yummy M. Hi that's it for me 
if you guys have any questions just quickly drop them um if you still have if you're interested in working with me ensure that you send me a, a dm oh my god how can i forget so i was talking about we talk about drinks right and we're talking about our people that are addicted to coke and stuff there are many options to these things okay you might start with alternating with a zero calorie version so like the zero coke stuff but from then on to just help you initially cope so to speak but then after that you probably want to transition to there's so many options their teas are amazing and why they're amazing is because they're so versatile you can make tea and i know normally when you think of tea you're thinking you know, of that hot tea in your mug no you can have it that way but then you can also dip it in water make the tea like a normal tea but let it cool keep it in the fridge you have your own nice cool so make a big jar for yourself and then instead of using sugar you can add uh, what do you call them you can add okay sweeteners okay so you can buy like stevia you can buy candorel so that way you almost have yourself almost a zero calorie drink that you made by yourself you know in your house so you can keep it in the fridge you can try to add ice to it you can add squeeze some lime into it the different teas now with different flavors and i know fd has she's her ranges of teas are amazing you know so you can get to her just there are these ones that i buy they're like strawberry flavored they're just so many things just walk up and down zobo teas so i said zobo tea zobo is awesome too but the issue is the sugar so if you make it yourself in your house, the normal, you pour water, you boil it, all those things that you do to get the Zobo water part. So the question is, how are you sweetening it? Okay. So look for a, a zero calorie sweetener to sweeten. Or if you, even if you're going to add sugar, add little. And yes, I need to mention too that honey has a very similar amount of calories with sugar. So if you're running away from sugar, don't go and start taking honey. The same way you are reducing your sugar, you will also use that same sense for the honey same thing for date syrup okay all these different alternatives they all have similar amounts of calories with sugar you know in fact they have just a, they have a little more than sugar actually okay so you you need to be you need to be careful with that as well so whatever it is you're making in your house the question that's why me usually when I say, okay, can I do zobo and stuff like that and i'm like well it it depends on what they put inside that's the truth oh my god how can i forget i need to also talk about juices um i know because yes yeah, somebody just said use fruit to sweeten your zuba watermelon is awesome i need to talk thanks for that erroneous i need to talk about juices juices have calories dates and pineapple are sweet now hmm. the dates is what i'm scared about remember i said date syrup date syrup is gotten from dates so dates have a very significant amount of calories depends on how many you decide to use so still be careful um now juices also have calories why because i got it from fruit so the difference between fruits and the juice is that with the fruit with the juice you don't have all the fiber and all the other components of the fruit all you have is the juice but that without juice comes the sugar that is in the fruit and with the sugar comes the calories so fruit is not an equivalent to water so you know don't be doing fit farm and just be saying you know i'm just going to be drinking juice now instead of water so that juice has to still count towards your calories for the day i'm not saying you should not drink juice i'm just saying have at the back of your mind that a cup of juice even i'm talking raw raw juice no sugar added juice the juice that you yourself you squeezed in your house yes a cup is about um how many cup? yes a cup is about 120 calories okay and a cup is not a lot a cup maybe like a glass cup you know, but not even filled to the brim but you know how normally just the way you just fill the cup to one particular place so you don't want to so that's about 120 calories so you have to keep that at the back of your mind as i said earlier it's all the different things that you're eating together it comes as a total and you're trying to get to a target okay so i actually have this calorie counting master class so it's a class that teaches you mostly all these things that I'm talking about. How to calculate how many calories you need to lose weight. You know, then actually now translating that into food. Okay, so this particular food, if I bring it together into this, how many calories will it give me? How many calories will I? So basically, it just takes you through this all these calorie calorie things that I have been saying. All right, the masterclass is three thousand. So if you're interested, hit me up. 
Um, so yeah, so let me know if you have just entered the DM. Soy milk. Soy milk is actually quite similar to Kilon Flame. Now for soy milk, a lot of it depends on the brand. Now if it is completely unsweetened, okay, it is unsweetened, it is on on unflavored. How many is in a cup now? Almond milk is like 30 something calories. But soy milk is a single more. How many is in soy milk again? I think between 60 to 100. I'm sorry, I really can't remember right now. For soy milk. But a very big factor to those calorie numbers is in the sugar that the manufacturer puts. So you know there are different brands. So usually one of the best things to do is to read the label, which is actually one of the things you learn to do in the masterclass I talked about. So to learn to when you see, when you go like me now, when I come and say, oh, Hollandia yogurt has this amount of calories. It's not that they taught me in school or I've known it in my head. I just went to the supermarket and I checked the nutrition label and I read it. And, you know, and that's why I know. Okay. So many products come with this, um, these labels ready right, for packaged products. So just ensure that, you know, just turn it and you'll be able to have an idea from the label of how many calories it has. La Chiki, hi. Please watch the replay. We're basically, 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 basically done. Oh my god, how can I forget my baby? This is the second edition of my book. Started, what should I be eating? It is like your it is your Bible for nutrition or for like weight loss. So we have the soft copy, we have the hard copy. Soft copy is 1006. The hard copy is 2k or yes, 2k. So you can actually get that directly via the link in my bio. Um, if you're following that or come on foodie. Um, this is second edition. So it has um, meal plans. It has pictures of food. It will teach you how to reduce your sodium. How to... Yes, yeah, see what sodium matter. Thank God FD has a lot of spice replacement. So basically, how to reduce your sodium. It's very hard to do. When you read the book, you understand why I say that it's difficult to do so having alternatives like fd natural spices is a very very good idea i personally have started teaching myself so basically you can unlearn the taste of salt you can unlearn oh okay the master class is you if you missed it there's the replay for the master class which is still on sale so with time you can unlearn the taste of salt such that if you start reducing your salt small small if you give yourself some time about six weeks you will actually it will become normal like you wouldn't be able to eat the amount of salt you used to eat before like when you taste food maybe the former kind of food you've eaten before will now start feeling too salty so just that you know small small things like you know maybe skipping skipping the salt when you cook rice skipping the salt when you cook many of us cannot fry plantain without salt stop it stop it okay and um, there's a way that sodium affects you and actually even adds to your weight because it causes water retention there's just so much to learn okay um so yeah, I think I'm going to stop talking now. I need to drink water. And I think no one has questions for me anymore. So I'm just going on and on and on. I love to teach. So <laughs> I can go on and on and on and on. But you guys, thank you so much for your questions. Thank you for spending this time with me. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for, for your comments, for everything, for spending your data. Very important. For spending your data on me. <laughs> on watching this live video um i don't know when i will be able to do it but if you follow me i usually go live most of the time on my page once at least once a week so you can still catch me on my page um if you like to and yeah so that's it thank you guys so much fd i cannot thank you enough for having me on your page you have a fantastic audience thank you guys so much all right so instagram is counting down for me already bye